Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that, a pretty quiet week so far in the stock market. However, we do have some companies reporting earnings this week coming up. Now we already had a fairly big earnings week going on with Home Depot reporting, C, Baidu, Paysafe, um, and many more. We're having Target report Wednesday morning before the open and Wix after the close on Wednesday, Cisco. Um, Thursday before the open, what we're going to talk about in this video is Alibaba and Walmart. And then Friday, we have John Deere and Foot Locker. So let's jump right into it. The first stock we're going to talk about is Alibaba at $87 per share. But before we do that, stop for a second, smash the like button on this video. It is going to be a short video. So let's dive right into it without any further ado. Now they're up 6.8% in the past week and they're down 8.3% in the past month. You can see in the last three months, Alibaba has been a stock that people have been loving to swing trade because they go down to around $81 per share and then pop up to around $100 per share, which is around a 25% gain in stock price. But then Baba does sell off closer to that $80 mark. So if I'm buying Baba for long-term or swing trades, I like to buy below 80. You can see my average cost is 81. We're up 7% currently. Alibaba is a very high risk stock. In the last five years, you can sell off. Uh, you can see that they sold off tremendously. They were at $309 per share. And to this day, the stock is still down 71% from highs of October 23rd, 2020. Okay, so Alibaba could have a bounce back. We've talked about them in many videos in the past. It's good to diversify into other countries other than just American stocks. It gives you a little bit of leverage if the China-based stocks start taking off. Alibaba is one of the best stocks to be owning if you are looking to buy a Chinese-based stock. Okay, now if you didn't know what Alibaba does, by the way, they engage in providing technology infrastructure and marketing reach. It operates through the following business segments, China's commerce, international commerce, local consumer services, cloud, digital media, entertainment, innovation, and other segments as well. The core commerce segment consists of the platform operating in retail and wholesale. You guys have probably heard of Alibaba Express, where people who are drop shippers like to buy from for a very cheap amount and sell it for a lot more money. So they're kind of like a Shopify of China, but much, much bigger and much more international as well. We can see that the PE, the price to earnings ratio is 51. The market cap is 230 billion, implying that it could be growing um, significantly to the trillion dollar range. However, I think it's a little bit overvalued right now. For this stock to see a 5X or so, um, Baba would have to have a $1 trillion market cap. And if you look at their balance sheet, Alibaba has a pretty strong balance sheet. So in the next five to 10 years or more, if they continue growing their revenues and net income at the rate they have, a trillion dollar market cap is not out of the question. But as of today, it definitely is out of the question. The PE ratio is 51, implying that it's trading at a premium compared to the rest of the market. Alibaba's China Commerce adjusted EBITDA margin was 32.5% higher than JD's retail, um, which is a competitor, by the way, JD, 3.1%. Core annual active users on Alibaba China's retail marketplace had a retention rate of over 90% for the year ending in September 2021. So JD.com or ticker symbol JD is going to be an interesting one to be looking into in the future. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on, with post notifications on, if you're ready for that video and comment below you want more Chinese-based stocks for me to be diving into. Now here we see an article, Alibaba earnings could suffer from slow Chinese consumer spending. A two-year low in consumer price inflation has investors worried on Alibaba earnings. China's most valuable retailer, Baba, is likely to report a year-over-year -year boost in earnings per share, but slower in revenue growth as China's economy stumbles out of the pandemic restrictions. Key takeaways for Alibaba earnings 
Alibaba is expected to report a year-over-year improvement on net income, which the stock market really cares about right now, and they also really care about guidance as well. So if Alibaba guide, uh, guides for a, a really good quarter coming up because um, you know China's economy is getting out of the pandemic restrictions, that could be a very good thing. Okay, uh, China's economy recovery has stuttered since its opening reopening in 2023. Record Chinese household savings could still boost e-commerce. Alibaba is expected to report net income of 13.1 billion won or 1.9 billion USD. And it's expected to report net income of 8 cents per share for the first three months of the year, 2023. According to analyst estimates compiled by Visible Alpha, that's a dramatic improvement from the year ago quarter, which was a loss of 75 won per share. Revenue is forecasted at 30 billion USD, a 2.5% incre- uh, increase from a year ago. Another quarter of sluggish growth for a company that before 2021 only knew double digit growth sales. So here we see them only increasing 2.5%. Cloud computing revenue is expected to grow only 1%. Um, Alibaba will report earnings before U.S. markets open on Thursday, keep in mind. Investors have been worried about the strength of China's recovery after finally lifting the pandemic restrictions in January. Um, Industrial production in April was 5.6% higher than a year ago far short of the 10% increase that analysts were expecting. Imports fell 7.9% year over year in April, while exports growth slipped to 8.5% from 14.8% in March. So there's a lot of bearish things to watch out for in this earnings report. Um, But guidance and the future of the China economy is important to be watching. That's why it's important to note that household bank deposits jumped by a record 17 trillion won or 2.6 trillion USD in 2022, up 80% from 2021, according to the People's Bank of China. So people are just stacking money in China right now and getting ready to spend it. Meanwhile, consumer price inflation rose in April at its slowest rate in two years, suggesting savers have yet to tap into their pandemic stockpiles. Chinese stocks soared earlier this year after COVID uh, restrictions were lifted. Foreign investors bought $20 billion in Shanghai and Shizhen uh, listed shares for the, the first month of 2023. But that appetite has cooled down, admin increasing tensions between the world's two largest economies, China and the U.S. Foreign investments in China stocks totaled just between $6 billion USD between February and April. Okay, so a lot of people are investing right now in Chinese-based stocks, Alibaba specifically. So here we have their income statement and balance sheet pulled up. Let's look at the income statement first and let's direct your eyes on net income. On a quarterly chart, we can see it's very up and down, hot and cold. So if uh, Alibaba reports positive earnings this quarter, it will be a good thing to see, especially some growth, if they can beat that $46 billion they reported last quarter. Now on an annual chart, we can see that 2020 was the peak with $140 billion in net income. Okay, we can see it shrinking in 2021 and 2022. So we really need to see a big bounce back for Alibaba stock on net income. However, if we direct our eyes to total revenue, we can see that that's increasing by double digits consistently every single year. Even from 2020 to 2021 to 2022, we're still seeing an increase. So it'll be interesting to see why we had such a fall on net income in 2022 only to 30 billion and in 2020 we had 140 billion in net income yet the total revenue in 2022 was much higher than in 2020 so that's something to definitely consider and if we look at the total revenue quarterly graph here we can see it looks like it's plateaued a little bit so we really want to see those double digit growth quarters coming back 
to revenue for Alibaba. However, the annual does still look very good. Now, another good thing about Baba stock, it has an excellent balance sheet with only 36% debt to asset ratio, which is right where I want it. I typically like it under 50%. But even in the 30s or under 30s is the sweet spot for the debt to asset ratio. They have 1.7 trillion in assets and only 613 billion in liabilities. So they're not going to be going bankrupt anytime soon, especially with all that net income they're pulling in. Uh, they can go a few quarters with being not profitable and that's a okay for something like Alibaba stock with such a strong balance sheet. So overall, there's a lot of things to be bearish about. There's some things to be bullish about. But if you want to see exactly how I'm personally playing Alibaba, make sure you join the close friends list where I post all my different trades. You can see what trades I'm taking out this week. If I'm buying calls, selling calls, if I'm buying puts, strike prices, expiration dates. And there's been so much success in the close friends list list recently that you're definitely going to want to join because right now you're just missing out on excellent trading opportunities. Here you can see the daily stock market. Thank you with a $5,640 gain just from one trade. Okay, and that's just one example. There's over 900 positive testimonials. Another uh, member was up $530. So what are you waiting for? Now's the time to learn the stock market, or you can even just follow along with the trades. Took profits on AMD here, up 310% on the trade. Started with $50 and turned it into $200. DM me to join. Best part about being a trader is you can trade from anywhere and still make money. Also, accounts of all sizes are welcome. So just shoot me a DM on the daily stock market. Now over 200,000 followers, 753 posts. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Drop a thumbs up on this video. It's the least you can do if you watch to the very end. Share with a friend because you know that they will find value in this video, especially if they're an Alibaba investor or Chinese stock investor. Um, gets you a little bit ready for the earnings coming up. So guys, thank you for the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys liked this short and concise video on one topic only, which was BABA and Chinese stocks. And always remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.